Hey guys, John from FlyMyCalf.com, and today I'm here to talk about VORs, what they are, a little bit about how they work, and we're just going to go over a basic overview of what you need to know as a private pilot about VORs and how to actually read this instrument that we have here in our airplane. So for starters, we have our basic six-pack instruments here, and most of your training aircraft, your Cessnas, Pipers, you know, your 172s, Cherokees, all that sort of stuff, they're going to have these basic six-pack instruments, and then they're going to also have this other little guy here that you probably won't talk about for the first couple flight lessons until you get later on into it, and it is the VOR. So the VOR is basically an old school way of navigating that we still use today, and it's still very relevant today, even though we have GPS. If the GPS breaks, the batteries die, the satellites stop working, we need some sort of ground-based navigation to back it up. And each ground-based VOR station that we see on the sectional chart is its own independent station with its own independent power source, its own independent transmitter. So one of these might break, but you're not going to have the entire system go down like if you had maybe like a solar flare and all the satellites went down. So it's still a really valid thing to know and often required to know on your private pilot check ride. So, for starters, we have this ring around here, and it's connected to this little knob, the OBS knob, the Omni Bearing Selector. And if I start turning that knob, and by just clicking here that simulates turning it, you can see I'm spinning that outer ring, and the instrument in your airplane will work the same way. You can spin the ring around. As you spin the ring around, sometimes that little needle in the middle there will move left and right, like we just saw there. So this needle here moving left and right is called our CDI, our course deviation indicator. This horizontal needle is a glide slope needle. That's what the GS is about. And we're not going to talk much about that. We're not going to worry about that. That comes in instrument training. So when you're learning to fly uh, IFR, then you're going to worry about what that needle does. For private pilot, we don't even talk about it. The next part of this instrument that's very interesting to us is the two and from indication, so the to and from flag we often call it, because if you notice as I spin this little knob around, that flag will swap places and it'll go from to to from. Now coming over here to the left, we have this plan view, this top-down view. We have a VOR compass rose that matches the one on our sectional chart right here, and it's oriented north up as they all are and it has radials coming off it. You can't actually see the radials except for the um, one that we've selected here, the uh, 212 and the 032 radial, but there's 360 radials coming off of this thing. So 360 degrees, 360 individual lines, and we could be located on any one of those lines or of course somewhere in between, but you know we won't get that precise. We could be on any one of these individual 360 degree lines, 360 degree radials, coming from this station. So we often talk about VORs in the sense of, well, what radial are you on? You know, and, and how do you want to get to the station? So what radial are we on? Well, that depends what we tune this OBS to. So say we're just flying around here. Note that the VOR is totally irrelevant of our heading. So we can point the aircraft any which way we want. It doesn't matter. It will never change the CDI here doesn't matter which way the aircraft's pointed, it only matters where the aircraft is in two-dimensional space, X and Y axis. So to find out where are we, well, we want to find out what radial we're on. That's a really common question. What radial are you on from the station? And just remember that saying there, what radial are you on from the station, okay? Anytime this flag says from and the needle becomes centered, that's the radial we're on. So I'm going to go ahead and start spinning our OBS knob here, and I can just spin it around and around. And notice that first it's going to flip to two. It doesn't always. Sometimes it'll just stay on from, and then the needle centers. But it flipped to two, then the needle's going to center, and then it goes the other way. And I just keep rotating that knob around until I get my from flag and the needle centers. And in the airplane, you're going to want to do this kind of slowly. So we've got our from flag, and now we see that needle centering. And once it's directly centered, we're going to say, yeah, that looks to be about the 210, 220, maybe 221, 222 radial that we're on from the station. So that's the radial from the station. And look, there it is, 222. And if I click Show Aircraft Radial, it agrees we're on the 222. If I move this airplane now, again, doesn't matter which way I point the aircraft, you can be 
heading any which way he wants. If I move the aircraft around, this number here is showing us what radial we're on from the station. Of course, we don't have this device in the airplane, so we have to use this guy. This is just a little bit of situational awareness here as we're looking at our plan view. So we move this guy around, we can see that radial is changing and say I put him on the 195 radial. Well, now I'm going to want to twist this knob here until I have that from flag with the needle centered and it's going to tell me what radial we're on. And there it is, 180, 190, about the 195 radial from the station. So now we know, well, we are southwest, slightly south-southwest of the station. And that's how we tell we, where we are from the station. So that's the basic components of our VOR navigation. We're going to talk a lot more in a few other videos about how to actually use these in flight and how to use it on the written test, how to really uh, prepare yourself just for the standard FA questions that they're going to give you on that written. Just remember, you have the VOR located on the ground. You have 360 radials coming off that VOR. You could be on any of them. And it's totally irrelevant what heading you are. Does not matter which way the aircraft's heading. So your DG does not affect your actual VOR. This OBS knob, Omni Berry Selector, is what will actually affect the needle, as well as the aircraft flying along will affect the direction of the needle as well. The to and from flag tell you if the aircraft is to the station on a certain radial or from the station on a certain radial. But always remember, from with the needle centered is where you are from the station. So from needle centered, we can look right up here and say we're on about the 255 radial. And it shows us yeah, about the 256 radial. Those are our basic components. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you check out our other two videos on how to use VORs in the airplane, as well as how to use the VOR on your written tests. So how are you going to interpret all these indications on the written exam from the FAA when you go for your private pilot written? Make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, keep up with all our latest videos coming out, check out our website for our free online ground school for private pilots, and check out our Patreon page. We really appreciate all the support you guys give us. It really helps keep this program free for everyone. And remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.